Bank of India traces its origins to 1806 when it was set up as the Imperial Bank. Over the years, it took over other state-run banks, some fully and others as subsidiaries, and today it's almost a confederation of banks. Over the next few years, the bank plans to merge its various arms, five in all, with itself. The bank has already merged the State Bank of Indore and the State Bank of Saurashtra with itself, and in fact, Chokri was closely involved with the last and many believe his success there got him the top job. It was challenging. Each of this merger has a cost about 800 to 1500 crores in terms of you know capital even if you don't pay others out. So this is the cost of merger or acquisition. So since we were slightly challenged in terms of capital we didn't undertake a merger but merger I think takes about two to three years to digest so these five banks I think over 10 or 15 years should get merged into state banks. So when you talk about Saurashtra what are the challenges and what are the challenges that you're facing as these two come together? Yeah I thought you know it should not be seen as a conqueror. We should it is a battle for the mind and hearts of the people. And it should, they should always feel that it's a win-win. Win-win for the employees, win-win for the customers, win-win for the local economy, so everybody. So that's what I worked on. And my first point, let, it may sound a little political. So I said a great son of Gujarat, Sardar Balabhai Patel, I know you uh, Patel's example. took, uh, merged this provincial state. And Bhavnagar state was one of the first to declare his accession to India. And then Bhavnagar Maharaja, you know, in recognition of his services, was made the governor of Madras. So I said, by since by that merger, Bhavnagar benefited, Gujarat benefited, India benefited. So similarly, this merger, State Bank of Russia will benefit, State Bank of India would benefit, and the country would benefit. The coming together of SBI is being closely watched because the bank is often criticized for the fact that it is not big enough as compared to its international peers. And as the economy grows and the appetite of companies grow with it, a lender of size is crucial. But Nirmal Bank's Himendra Hazari, who has tracked the banking sector for decades, says the critics are wrong. Look at what FBI has achieved. For to understand, you know, its role in the Indian economy and the development of India, when it was nationalized, SBI had about 497 branches, about 226 crores of deposits, a net profit of about 68 lakhs and employees of about 14,600. Now you see since then the kind of growth that it has had on any of these parameters and you add to that that SBI has been the bank at the forefront of what was then called developmental banking when it was nationalized in 1955 and the whole thrust of taking banking to rural India, uh, SBI has been at the vanguard of that. So the kind of monetization that has happened in rural India, uh, you know, that has to be really to the credit of State Bank of India. So if you look at this in that context, you see that SBI's role in the development of India has been tremendous. Himendra Hazari believes that SBI has done a stellar job given its mandate, but its biggest challenge will be to get the talent and technology to fuel its growth. At SBI, the top brass is only too aware of the criticism that often comes their way. And on the need for scale, Pratik Chaudhary has an interesting take. He says while plans to grow are on track, SBI makes up by being a banker with a heart. Whenever Indian companies went on path-breaking acquisitions abroad, you take the uh, big headline-grabbing acquisitions of say Tata Motor in JLR, Tata in Chorus, you see Bharti acquiring Zain or Adani Ports acquiring the port in Australia. In each of these, State Bank was a major participant. And I am extremely thankful, particular to Mr. Ratan Tata, till this day, he is very effusive in saying that when the 2008 crisis happened, many foreign banks, many other banks became slightly hesitant or diffident, but State Bank stood like a rock. And now uh, we have got enough capabilities in our global operations to support any such activity.
In a sense, are you defining SPI's role as being the rock solid support, be it for Ratan Tata in the toughest time, sure. be it for Vijay Malia now in the toughest sure, time? Is that uh, what you think is going to be your core? No, all. I think, you know, we derive our entire goodwill, support and resources from the Indian economy and the people. And at one end, when we are supporting Ratan Tata and Vijay Malia, I think the legacy that we are drawn in and legacy that, you know, the culture we are steeped in is very different. The banker to every Indian believes that standing by at the toughest times, rock solid, is what it needs to do in tough times. And after what India's biggest business houses have faced over the last two years, few could argue with that. <laughs>